<laughs> if anybody's ever heard me talk, we'll, we'll hear me say like, I can rave about Sean's in ring work, right? I mean, he is really, really top notch in the ring. What I've been hearing lately is people say, well, I think he's better than Flair. And uh, there are a few points to make to that. Flair was coming out of the black boots and tights era, right? And he came up with this like over the top flamboyant, amazing in ring performer. Sean had the luxury of growing up watching a Ric Flair and guys like Ric Flair perform. So he had a bit of an up, not detracting one bit from what Sean can do in the ring. Uh, there's the one spot in the ring where Sean starts making the flurry. I think he does a, a flying burrito off the one uh, side, comes up and goes to hit something again. Then he gets backdropped and he comes up and he spins around and turns right into the clothesline from Bulldog. Again, that ring positioning to me is something that, as crazy as it sounds, you'd be surprised at how few guys can always have themselves in that right place. Uh, you know, the, to me, when I hear the phrase ring generalship, that that's what comes to mind is knowing where you are and knowing how to get into that next thing and out of it. The other thing that Sean does in the match that really impresses me is as uh, almost trite as this sounds is when they win the match, Sean goes in and, and he, he, it looks so legitimate to me. Like he's excited. He's jumping up and down. And I mean, you watch that and go, okay, like, see, this is the other side. Like someone who goes, hey, it doesn't look very cool. Maybe I should like do it this way or do it. You can just see Sean is just going with it, you know? And, and, uh, he, for the guy, for the kid in me that still loves watching wrestling, when I see a guy like him perform, I can very easily separate the, my experiences with him, good and bad, and become that mark watching him and go like, geez, ew, damn, he's good. You know, like it's, uh, but like I told Moose last night, that to me is the epitaph. Like, and I don't intend it to sound this way. I, I, I mean that in every, semblance of this every syllable in that sentence sean is a phenomenal in-ring performer that said it always struck me as odd that there were two things about sean that stuck struck me the first one was after you know after this click thing was that he clearly didn't have enough faith in his own ability that he resorted to becoming this uber politician like more political than rick flair uh, but that he was also always running in his head this imaginary, I'm better than Flair. You know, and and like I, I can honestly say I never measured myself to anybody in the business. Uh, if anything, I think I look at those guys that came before me, all those guys I always talk about, the, the Brunos and the Hardys and the Dominics and so many of these guys, I think like Piper and you know, Steamboat and uh, these guys like on a different plateau. Like, man, they're, they're, they're at the mountaintop up there. These guys, because they're just so in incredible to watch and effortless. And when you see them making the effort, and Sean does that, you know, Sean gets in and really makes it look effortless.